what is going on you guys welcome to scorpion reds tarot so this is like a quick test all right i got a brand new camcorder yay you guys yay 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 all right so i'm just running a test real quick just to see how this records and how everything uploads and whatnot so um let's go so let's do a quick shuffle i'm gonna do a off the top off the top of the deck real quick so just want to say thank you so much to Father God for you know just the fact that I have this camcorder right now because you know it's a true blessing all right so I just want to give thank you to Father God to all of my ancestors to everyone that's over me and has been protecting me and has been looking out for me and that's uh, providing me the resources to do what I do every day on a consistent basis. So I'm going to do a quick shuffle. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a quick shuffle. And I'm just going to take off the top. All right. Looks like this is what God wants me to focus on right here. All right. And I believe this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Yeah. Do a quick shuffle of this deck here. This is the daily guidance. All right. Take the first card off the deck. Cleanse and detox. Swords in reverse and love. All right. Whoa, that was a lot. Alright, so what popped out here was deception, uh, reconciliation, and staying optimistic. All of those came out, which I wasn't really trying to get all of those out. But we're going to go with the flow, you know? Alright, and then this is the shadow of the oracle, the oracle of the shadow and light. I'm going to get a quick card in regards to some daily guidance and Regards to the shadow and the shadow, she's not connecting. We got popping for today's energy um all right so and again just in case i do upload this i am gonna you know this was just a test run but shoot if it works out it works out or we gonna upload it so if we're gonna upload this video this is going to be the energy um no it's just gonna be my energy this is not a real reading all right so right now the energy is uh the will of fortune in the reverse basically in the shadow so basically what i'm getting in this um i am getting at this point in time that the fortune for you has just been um slow coming slow to come and i feel like you're still very much in the dark about 
where your future is headed and you know when the sun is going to shine for you and I believe that this card is just representing for you to just stand strong you see how this man he has a lot of confidence and he's uh, waving what is that a uh, 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 unk uh, unk what do they call that thing yeah uh, unks whatever it's called the little thing Erica Badu always be having and I believe that that means like a turn eternal light or something of that nature and I'm going to look this up so I can know for sure before I do the next reading what exactly that means and things I believe that it just it's just to remind you that there is eternal light and you know regardless of if your current luck at the moment is good or bad it's all for a divine purpose and it's all for learning and it all has um, a reason for the current season that you are in in life and what God wants you to know is to cleanse and detox okay to cleanse and detox all right this says with great love and respect we ask you to de detoxify your precious and sensitive body as at your request will help you develop self affirmation affirming ways to deal with stress as we all ease any sorrow shedding your old ways give your cares worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body so make sure that you're cleansing yourself of any old energy any old ways any old toxic patterns that has been bringing forth this misfortune to you so if it's certain things that you're not letting go that you've been holding on for an eternity here it's about time to let go because it's impeding the process for you know the turnaround of this good fortune and the light you know being brought into you so at this current moment um, I just feel like you're in a state where you're feeling like you're still in wait for the good luck to you know to come out of the shadows for you and this is the King of Swords. The King of Swords in reverse to me represents a man that um, doesn't really know his way. He's still trying to find his way. He's still trying to find clarity. He's still trying to find, you know, a way to communicate his feelings and just even understanding his feelings. Um, this is someone who's still searching for truth and guidance and clarity in his life and still trying to figure out what the toxic patterns is that he needs to cut out I don't feel like this person has sight and is able to see the wrongs in his ways and the things that they're doing um, and the things that they need to cleanse and detoxify out of their life so that this misfortune and this bad luck can end you know this is someone who has not really seen their ways and not you know even able to communicate and look at their self in the mirror and say look I have a problem with this I need to fix this do you understand this person is lacking that growth and that clarity and um, in order to be a king of swords you have to be knowledgeable you have to be sure you have to be confident people come to you for insight people come to you for truth people come to you for guidance and if you don't even know your own truth if you don't even know your own whereabouts, where you are, how to communicate, how you're feeling, or even knowing where you are at this current state of your life, you're not able to lead. I feel like in regards to your love life right now, um, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I feel like some of you guys are still dealing with someone that is still wearing a false mask and someone is still trying to deceive you at this current moment. Someone that is wishing that they can come back and, you know, reconcile at this point. And um, this is a moment of reconciliation that is not being let up off of the ground at this current moment. It's not being let off of the ground because you are not really optimistic about this relationship with this person because you still feel like it's, you know, it's covered in deceit. You still feel like it's covered in deceit. And I don't feel like you're really trusting that energy. I don't feel like whoever this is in the relationship that you're dealing with, I don't feel like you feel like this person gives you any clarity or truth. And... I honestly feel like this is somebody that you need to cut out or that you want to cut out. And this is someone that you're trying to cleanse and detox out of your life. And that you feel ever since this person has came into your life, has bought you nothing but bad luck. And in regards to uh, the shadow and the light oracles, this young lady here is voodoo in blue. It says back the fuck off. So let's read 
from the book to see exactly what number 22 says, okay? All right. Voodoo in blue. Message back off. This fairy is letting you know that it's time to back off from a person or situation that is not in your best interest. And that you need to be brave and stop being so welcoming of what you actually do not want. So this blue fairy waving her voodoo doll is letting you know very clearly that you now must tell someone to take a step back. You know you have been overriding your instincts with this, with what seems rational, with a misguided desire to help and befriend someone who may not be particularly good for you. Voodoo in blue doesn't mind if she looks a bit nasty when she gives the back off message. Okay. Okay. All right. It's time to tell somebody to back the fuck off. And if they are not good for you. And they bring you nothing but bad luck. Rather she is loud and clear. And that the person is pushing her buttons. Leaves quickly. She wants you to start trusting your instincts. Start valuing being honest. Above being nice. You do feel like you need to stay away from someone and to tell that person clearly to stay away from you and voodoo and blue step on forward to speak to you confirms that your hunches have been ever so right. Voodoo and blue speaks. You are doing so well right now that you may begin to attract some attention from people who are quite simply opportunistic and you are being kind and wishing to help. And so I'm going to step in and give you a very clear warning. I don't mind if I look like the bad guy. What matters is that you get the message. It's time to stay away. But it's time to do a little stay away magic. And while I don't. Hold on. And while I won't be sending them bad thoughts after all. There's no pins in my voodoo dolls. You if you take my advice. Won't be asking them to come around for tea anytime soon. Your feelings are right on this one. You know what to do. Don't get involved and don't be bullied. You may have to snarl too. A little to get them to stay away. Divination message. You need someone to back off and to give you space. You are not liking them. You are not welcoming them. You need to be very clear and stand about that. Well, you need to be very clear and straight about that, despite all your desires to be a loving and uh, to be loving and a lovingly person. Detach from whatever it is that is giving you so much and well grief by asking whatever or whomever it is that's irritating you, draining you, pushing your buttons to leave you for the moment. Be respectful and kind, yet cool at first. But if good intentions are mistaken for a new invitation, be very clear and say, away. Stop being nice that you send very mis mess mixed messages. It's time for banishing. All right. So it's time for certain people to get the fuck away from you because it's blocking this wheel of fortune from turning in a positive direction. Okay. It is time for us to get rid of people that are no longer serving us and that are holding us back from our greater purpose. It's time to cleanse and detox. This purpose, this person serves you no purpose. Purpose. This person does not give you the truth and clarity that you need in order to get what you want. You feel like it's nothing but deception and lies coming from this person. So this person has no place in your heart, in your space, and in your place. All right. So. You guys, this has been your read, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this makes it to the upload. So, um, sorry if I was not real clear about the fact that this was a Divine Feminine up reading and all that stuff like that, because I was really just doing a test run, but as always, God has a, a message for us, so, you know, I had to go ahead and give the message. I will be uploading a full body like our reading like I normally do for my ladies or whatever I've just been trying to change it up a little bit just been trying to pick off the top of the decks and stuff and trying to make the readings a little bit shorter so y'all let me know if y'all like this I will be also giving you a full body upload later so um I'm gonna call it 
the Daily Bread Deep Dive, like the original digital Daily Bread Deep Dive. So if you guys like these quick readings, y'all let me know. If y'all want me to keep the original format, y'all let me know. If y'all want me to do the, um, you know, the pick the top or the bottom of the deck, y'all let me know. I love y'all. Love and light. If y'all want a personal, y'all go ahead and click that About tab. Um, and click that hyperlink, Scorpion Reds Tarot, and simply book me if you want to go ahead and drop a cute coin into the PayPal. Um, like I said, which helped me be able to get this camcorder, which helped me be able to get these new decks, which is helping me being able to invest in my craft here and be able to, to produce you guys the best quality product that I can. Go ahead and that uh, PayPal information is in the description. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Love and light.